Hello everyone, welcome to Armas. Today we have the 44 Magnum long versus short barrel. And over here we have the LVL boards, which are stronger, denser, and more uniform than pine. So let's see how they do. The ammunition we'll be using is 340 grain plus P plus Buffalo bore. And this is the round. Up first is the Ruger Red Hawk. This is a Kodiak backpacker edition. And the barrel is 2.75 inches. And this is the Buffalo bore we'll be shooting out of it. Yes, here we have the uh, Ruger Red Hawk. It's seven and a half inches on barrel length. And of course, I'll be shooting the same cartridge. It's that Buffalo bore 340 grain. So let's give it a shot. So we're only about three yards away. So this is the 44 Magnum here, and this is the short barrel, the two and three quarters inch barrel. So as we can see, that one went through the first board, went through the second board, and is actually lodged in the third board right there. So wow. So now let's see how the 44 Magnum long barrel did. And this is a 2.75 inch barrel. We're actually a uh, seven and a half inch barrel, right? Yeah. So it clearly went through the first board and you can see that's a massive exit hole. Now we see here on the second board, it was already on its way out of the second board and it left a huge indentation right there and that's on the third board so and there it is so this is the short went a little bit deeper and this is actually the long barrel uh, and made an indentation on the third board okay so this is my good friend hi-hat and he's going to try to pry out this is the short barrel 44 magnum 340 grain plus P plus from Buffalo board. So that is the 340 grain plus P plus from Buffalo board. And this is a short barrel or shot out of the short barrel. And this is shot out of the long barrel. So once again, just to recap, so it made it in to the third board. That was a short barrel and the longer barrel made it made only an indentation on the third board but you can see probably the reason is a lot more expansion there that you can see in comparison to the short to the one shot out of the short barrel so happy july the 4th to all of you just a recap so the 44 magnum out of the short barrel is here the 44 Magnum out of the long barrel is here. And you can see that they both went through the first board, the second board. And actually this one was on its way out of the secondary board. And this is shot out of the long barrel and it made an indentation pretty deep on the third board. And the one shot from the shorter barrel actually penetrated the third board. And I'm thinking because there's very little deformation, there is damage, but not too much expansion in comparison to the longer barrel. So as you can see, the penetration test was won by the short barrel.
shot. That shot too low. That one hurt. Wow, 13. Way more. Surprisingly, the Rover Red Hawk Kodiak Backpacker with a 2.75 inch barrel using 340 grain plus P plus Buffalo Bore ammo actually out penetrated every caliber I've tested through the LVO boards thus far. However, the Ruger Red Hawk with a 7.5 inch barrel was not too far behind, while producing the highest energy average, a whopping 1,340 foot pounds of energy. These firearms paired with this ammunition makes an outstanding woods defense option as long as we do our part. My friends, enjoy your summer, and if you venture into the great outdoors, stay safe and stay armed. We'll see you next time.